Hello guys, welcome back to AnyFlix. Today, we're going to recap the film Sleepaway Camp 2, Unhappy Campers, released in 1988. Spoilers ahead, so watch out and let's get started. The movie begins with the narration. A group of people are sitting around the campfire and are telling scary stories. The only girl in this group starts telling a true story about a 14-year-old girl who killed 30 people and was last seen on the beach, naked, with the head of another camper in her hand. She then says that she was once a boy, and he was abused as a child. The storyteller is then forced to go, and another person asks, what happened to him? And the answer is unclear. Another guy proposes that he had a sex change and was released. After that, they bully one of the teens. The girl is escorted to her house, and her escort threatens her that she will be expelled from the camp. We also learned that the camp started just two weeks ago. Two girls split up, and the storyteller gets lost, and then gets hit in the head with a log. She cuts her tongue for telling such a silly story. If you didn't figure it out yet, she is the killer from the story. The next morning, she wakes up everybody in the girl's house. They see that one of the beds is empty. They ask around and find out the answer. The supervisor tells them that she sent her home after catching her doing naughty things with the boys. He also asks one of the girls not to sleep without pajamas anymore. And when he leaves the room, the girl makes fun of him by showing off their breasts. Outside, a tag team of two boys are taking pictures of the nude girls. This is a small discussion between Uncle John and the supervisor. They discuss how teens at the camp do wrong things, and they should be filtered, and only good teens should stay. It's breakfast time, and one of the girls refuses to eat the most important meal of the day, and proceeds to make fun of everybody around her. Then, one of the guys asks this girl, named Molly, if she ever uses marijuana. She answers with no. After that, the conversation changes to the girl expelled yesterday, and they all express their distaste for the supervisor, or as we know her, the killer. Uncle John arrives at the dinner and asks Angela to start the day with a song. She's been named the best supervisor of the week. Angela asks Molly and the other girl who makes fun of her, Allie, to help her with the song. The next minute is the single most terrifying song ever sung. After finishing the song, this guy named TC asks Angela to come to the pool and swim for a bit, but Angela declines. He then asks about the storyteller girls and why she got expelled. Angela agrees that they should discuss that and promises to call him later. And then TC realizes that he doesn't have a phone. At the pool, people are having fun, and we get some backstory from Molly and Sean. Molly is the youngest of six children, while Sean is only. Allie uses a dirty trick to get this guy's attention, but fails miserably. He then takes Molly somewhere to get a drink. In the forest, Angela finds two sisters drinking and smoking and making fun of that awful song. Later, the boys rise the flag. While Angela is looking for the sisters, she finds one of them making out with a boy and the other sleeping. One of the sisters wakes up to see her sister's burned body and eventually she gets burned alive as well. Back at the camp, one of the girls requests to be sent home and Angela grants her request. She then tells Uncle John that she sent the sisters home. He asks to tell him before she sends someone else home. Angela wishes goodnight to the girls. After she leaves, the girls start asking Molly about her and Sean. Then, the boys come into the girls' cabin. They start messing around when Angela comes back. The girls are forced to clean up their room and they devise a plan to get revenge on the boys. Unlike Angela, TC doesn't care what happens in the boys' cabin, so the girls take revenge. Unfortunately, Angela arrives to ruin the fun. Just as one of the girls is showing off her boobs, she wants to go home, and Angela takes her with her car. 
stops in the middle of the woods and kills her by drilling into her with a drill. The next morning, we are back at the camp when Uncle John gives the word to TC. He announces a list of missing things. Angela is humming something when Molly arrives and offers her some company. They discuss how Molly likes Sean and is insecure because Allie likes him too. We learn that Angela is still a virgin, so she confronts Molly. Back at the camp, we have some fun activities. Then, Angela arrives at the boys' cabin when the boys are checking out the pictures they took of the nude girls. There was Angela's picture there too. TC disagrees with Angela and doesn't send them home. And he warns Angela that the boys will try to scare them. The girls are out camping and sitting around the fire. The boys are getting ready to go and scare them. And one of them gets killed with his own shovel. The other gets killed with an electric saw. Back at the campfire, the girls continue having fun. Angela arrives in her scary costume. And the girls can't believe she would do something like that. She asks where Allie is. We cut to Allie getting drilled in the toilet. Angela arrives at the scene. She hides the boy and goes out to meet Angela. The next day, TC is looking for the boys killed by Angela yesterday. Allie asks Molly not to be nice to her anymore. Molly gets sad and Angela confronts her back at the cabin. Angela suggests that she should go to the pool and relax. Molly declines because she thinks Allie will be there too, but Angela theorizes that she is probably somewhere having a pleasure time. It turns out Angela was right. Allie has an orgasm and leaves the boy like he was a toy. She then goes back to the cabin to see a letter with her name on it. There is a meeting time and a place marked on it. She thinks it's from Sean. She gets to the abandoned cabin, but finds nobody there. She meets Angela there, badmouths her, and gets stabbed in the back. She is then forced into the toilet. That's one of those toilets that are big holes. She drowns in it. At the camp, the boy Allie used as a toy asks Sean and Molly if they have seen her. They say no and then find out that he had drilling sessions with her. The boy brings up how those two boys disappear just like Allie. But Sean dismisses his ideas. Sean tells him that he almost went to the camp where everybody got killed. The killer was going there as an angel of death. Do you see the irony? Meanwhile, one of the girls goes to Angela and tells her that she called the storyteller's family and they said she was still in the camp. She also called other girls' houses and they said the same. Angela gets up and starts preparing for something while asking if she told anyone about what she found out. Angela is testing things that she will use to kill her. She settles on a guitar string and chokes her to death. While she is trying to hide the body, one of the girls arrives. She unlocks the door, gets into Angela's room, and gets stabbed to death. Later, we see Sean and Molly kissing, while Angela is singing. Only Molly is left from the girls, so she has to sleep there alone with Angela. At night, Angela has a nightmare type of dream. It's more like a bad collage of the earlier events of the movie. Every murder, and even her interactions with Molly, it's truly terrifying. And then she wakes up like people wake up after a nightmare in the movies. She goes back to sleep. The next day, Angela gets fired by Uncle John for sending all of those teens home. She goes back to the cabin and tells Molly what happened to her. Molly goes to the boy's cabin and asks for Sean to come out. She tells him that Angela got fired. She asks Sean to help her and talk to Angela. They get to the abandoned cabin. Angela is frustrated and tells Molly that TC hates her. And she reminds her of that boy from her childhood. And she tells Molly that she fixed him. And when Molly asks her how she fixed him, Angela answers with, I drowned her. While that's going on, Sean gets into the cabin and sees all the dead teens. He gets attacked by Angela. Meanwhile, 
TC decides to go and kick Angela's ass. Back in the abandoned cabin, Sean and Molly are tied up. TC arrives looking for them. He gets into the cabin and gets his face burned by Angela. That's when Sean realizes that Angela is the same guy who killed kids in that other camp. She got this job after getting all the recommendations from psychiatrists and clergymen. Sean laughs at Angela and gets his head cut off. There are all those dead bodies around Molly. She tries to confront Molly, but fails miserably. Angela then leaves the cabin. Molly tries to escape, but she can't at first. After some struggle, she manages to get her hands free. She attacks Angela when she comes back and runs out in the forest. Angela quickly regains consciousness and chases Molly through the woods. She catches up to her, and after some struggle, Molly manages to run away once again. Some running later, Angela catches up to Molly once again. During his struggle, Molly falls from a small cliff and bashes her head on a rock. Later, the other supervisor arrives at the girl's cabin to check on Molly, but finds two boys looking through the window. After checking them, Diane finds out that they are dead. She runs into Uncle John's office and finds him dead with another boy, and she gets killed by Angela. That's when we see that Molly is alive. Angela is leaving the camp with the help of a lady that was passing through the camp. She gets killed by Angela as well. Molly gets to a nearby road to find a car. She tries to ask the driver for help, and guess who's sitting there? That's right, the Angela of death. We hope you enjoyed our today's video. If you liked this video, smash that like button and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with the latest and interesting videos.